How are you guys presenting that? Are you guys saying price reductions? What's the key word that you're using when you're asking for reductions this time of year? Uh, His son had a, another video that was great. It was a couple minutes long, but the word that he's asking them to use is we're looking to amend the price because they don't like the word reduction, reduce. It's a negative word to them. Reposition. Re, yeah, we absolutely. Use reposition. A lot. reposition. We need to amend this price and then give them the price and don't use reduction price drop because it feels like they're giving up, it's a downgrade, they're losing. And so I found that to be interesting, so I was inquiring what type of keyword you guys was using when you're, I hear you say price drop a lot, but I say a lot of things that I don't use in a script that... Uh, I would probably say, I told you so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we use that a lot. Told you so. Brian actually has a game that he plays with them that I find pretty interesting. You want to plug it real quick? Yeah, what I do is I'll tell them, hey, listen, this is what I think your house is worth. If you want to list it for this, I'm perfectly fine with that, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to play a game. I'm going to call you back whenever it doesn't sell in 30 days and tell you I told you so. And I, sometimes I'll even put money on it. I'll tell them, hey, listen, if we sell it for what you're asking, I'll give you 100 bucks, Or I'll associate something with it that's valuable to them. But, yeah, I do that a lot. I mean, I just want to call it, I call it the I told you so game. <laughs> but it works. It works well. expectations up front so you can actually call them. Brian said he's lost the game too a handful of times. I have lost, well, yeah. Especially <laughs> this is the time I quit that you will because when puns right. are on the rise. Yeah, I quit playing it lately because I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was losing frequently with the market turnover. But I was going to say something else about this that's interesting to me. Mm -hmm. Just being here, we have a lot of our agents over the years who've always said, Jesse made this comment the other day, how their Decembers, Novembers are some of the strongest months they have in a year. And I would believe that that is an exact representation as to why is because we are working all year long. We don't let up, and other agents do. I mean, um, uh, we've had several who have made that comment before. I wish Jesse was here um, because actually I was going to call on him because he told me the best month he's ever had in real estate is, uh, ex except for this last third quarter was in December, last December. He had only been with us maybe five months at that time. He came on, got through the 60 to 90 days onboarding process, and then hit it hard all through winter while everybody else was slacking off. And uh, <clears throat> Mike and I was just talking about this uh, last night. The new people that come on this time of year, you guys are going to have to exert that much more energy than the new agents that came on in the middle of the summer. But with, what, what was your word you use? Optimistic and just excited about the new opportunity. Yep. And while everybody else is slowing down, you're capitalizing on all these opportunities. So I'm looking forward to Trisha, to Tony, to Helen that's not here. Uh, she'll join us next week and Jason really finishing strong uh, with the rest of us going into the fourth quarter. Because if you took your foot off towards the end of the summer, going into this fourth quarter, you're gonna have a little bit of anxiety setting in, fear, right? Was, was I doing what I was supposed to be doing when it was a gold rush, if you will, and, you know, in the third quarter? Um, I want you guys to start really thinking about your goals going into the first of the year. I was hoping to be able to give you guys this number, but before we go back to the percentage of breakdown, some of you guys are saying it's slow, but here's what Denny told me uh, last night, or he texted me. He said, I sold four homes over the weekend, and then today before going into the meeting, I said, what was the volume on that? He said 500000 So he wrote and got under contract a half a million dollars just over the weekend, so give Denny a round of applause. <laughs> What are, you, what are you doing differently? I okay. prospected the whole month of August. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I worked my butt off in August. But, it, you know, I, I'm not doing anything different. I'm just prospecting, prospecting, prospecting. Yeah. I, Tammy said something to me very early that stuck with me, and I really, really try to do it. If you have five minutes, make phone calls. So whenever I find myself with something not to do, if it's a, ten minutes in the car waiting for somebody to show up at the house, I get on my phone, I start looking, what's it going on in Boomtown, and I start calling people. 
Hey, what's going on? Just one touch base. How you doing? Hey, great, great, great. Thanks, bye. You just keep massaging my <laughs> people. It's like with being able to balance. You know, it's amazing that I can watch Tanya make ten, eleven, twelve thousand dollars in one month, and she doesn't hit rock bottom, and she's able to still bounce back and make six, seven, eight in that next month, versus making eight thousand dollars and then zero the next month. And so, what would you, what would you say that uh, is your biggest behavior to be able to keep those numbers high? Keep prospecting. I don't care how many home inspections you got during the month. I don't care how busy you are. No, nope. everybody has 10, 15 minutes here and there. There's no excuse. You can prospect. Make a phone call. How much of your life have you felt like you've got back while you're doing more production using the showing partner model? Oh, oh my God. I mean, I have, I'm, well, I've got 12 pending. And sure. I'm wow. working. I'm not working evenings and a lot of the weekends. I mean, as far as showing, I'm not. I'm prospecting. So I feel that what I foresee is my database of closings is going to start thickening up yep. and staying more consistent on a monthly basis. But instead of not showing homes on Saturday, you can come in and at least prospect on the weekends. I've been seeing you at the office yep. on Saturdays, and you're in there. Prospect and they're setting up the new business. Why uh, Reagan, Reagan, Reagan is uh, out showing, but you took responsibility to help train somebody, develop them, and you took full responsibility of that person, uh, just like Jesse did the first of the year. And the person that actually executed the showing partner model throughout the year consistently, they was the they was the ones that was leading, and that was Jesse and Tammy over this last year. So really focusing on going into 2015 prospecting and looking to run that model is where you guys are constantly going to have 8 to 12 pin books. Continuing cost, right? Leveraging your time, making right. sure whenever they are doing what they're supposed to be doing, you're doing also what you're supposed to be yeah. doing. Because what, what, where this, but that model fails is whenever you have somebody out showing houses, but you're not in the office prospecting right. and you're not doing your part of the, Bingo. the job. Right. It's going to crash and burn. Right. you got to make sure that you're keeping the pipeline full in order for the model to continue to work. And there's people all over the country who do this on a very large basis who do very, very well with it. So I'd like to see more of our agents doing it. I and the, and the thing the is, I, I, and I didn't pitch this from a, I didn't really implement this in 2013 to, to, to make more money for myself. I was looking to get a little bit of my life back. That's it. <coughs> I was uh, helping uh, Gerbic build a lot of the call center out, and I was helping as many people as I could. Uh, I was trying to sell homes on my own, and it was like I felt like I hit a ceiling. I was running 12, 13, 14 hour days, and I had to look in the mirror. How long can I do this for? How sustainable is More paperwork to take care of, but you're not going to make a whole, whole lot of more money in this system, but you get your life back in terms of a showing partner. So Chris, get a Christine wants to show, I mean, one. until she gets really busy. You have, to, you have to be able to hit enough volume to be able to feel confident enough to <coughs> build a relationship with somebody that we can approve and we can help develop that system out for you. Yeah. I told, the, you know, when we bring people into the general pool and uh, like Brian um, that's no longer here in Denny, they want to develop out. You know, they're... That their goal is to become a uh, buyer's agent, and in Denny's case, he wants to be the top buyer's agent. <laughs> <laughs> yes. and, 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 and so you have to find your own person, and you almost have to keep them at bay, but keep them in line with our core values, our training, and all of that stuff. And I believe that was the best experience I had. That was what Je Jesse experienced, mm -hmm. and that's what I saw Tammy being able to do with uh, her person. But I see her showing partner coming yeah. in a little easier financially for her. But I looked at it like I could get my nights and uh, weekends back, but I would work nights by design and I'd work weekends by design, not because a buyer needs to go see a house right now or I got 15, 20 people under agency and I'm scared to call them and discover if they're wanting to look at homes because I have these people I'm already showing homes to and I think that they're gonna write an offer. And so I don't wanna be, I don't wanna double book myself. So I found myself and how ambitious I am taking my foot off the gas. And so I was like, if this is human nature for myself to take uh, my foot off the gas, what is my peers doing? What are my coworkers doing? Yeah. A lot of, uh, some of the newer recruits that we've got over the last six months is because of 
how open we are on Facebook and tagging each other. And other people are watching us. The streets are watching. Everybody wants to know what we have going on. What's our culture like? What are our numbers? And as we're tagging each other and they see that excitement, they're like, damn, we don't experience that. They're having fun over there. They're making money. And so use Facebook as a tool, not just to post what you have going on today. Maggie's used it phenomenal to help us recruit people and tagging and the call nights and the pictures and all that stuff. I want them to see what we have going on. I don't want to hide anything and it's Somebody helped us. say to me, well, I don't post pictures every time I close because I don't want it to seem braggy. But you know, the reality is if you, if you position it like you're excited for these people, they've achieved home ownership, it's not like, yeah, at a closing, it's like, wow, congrats on your new home, I'm so happy for you. And I've gotten referrals where people message me and said, Hey, thanks so much. Um, you know, I want a house. How do I get a house? I saw you just helped my friend, so it's definitely worth your time. Did you ask that for the money that closed this one? All their Good friends, point. all their friends that you just you know, tagged mm -hmm. now saw your. You know, yeah. Hey, just just chop it up to what what Mike Gerbic said. We are not bragging. We are applying for a job. <laughs> <laughs> Forty eight appointments from September, uh, middle of September till Christmas time. Forty eight listing appointments is what I'd set for Grant and uh, Mr. Faust in two thousand ten. Um, so the business is out there. We just have to be able to exert that much more energy to be able to produce what we did in the second and third quarter. That's why Denny is throwing up numbers is because he's just not taking care of low hanging fruit. It's easy to operate and sell three to five homes in this environment in the second and third quarter. What's going to happen in the fourth quarter is we're going to see what we're all what we're all made of. And I don't want anybody pointing fingers or blaming anybody because things have slowed down because you're going to have to look in the mirror and go back and look at your daily activity report. How many contacts did you make? How many calls was you making? And the call center yesterday, uh, we had a fantastic meeting and I told them they're gonna even have to strengthen their how they close because they've even uh, become a, just going through the motion, if you will, in the second and third quarter. It's been easy to tee up appointments. It's about to get real hard in terms of um, conversions and how many how many contacts are you guys hitting right now to set the appointments to sell what you're selling? Tammy, how many contacts do you have a week to achieve what you've been able to do? 30, 40 contacts? What would you say that is? I try to do 20 a day. 20 a day. On average. I try. Wow. Contact? Contacts. Contacts. Valid conversations. Yeah. So you know who to follow up with, who not to follow up with. But getting better with our database management. Make sure we're setting to do's with every single lead. You know, we're really categorizing them with the A, B, and Cs. We just have to become a lot more disciplined to be able to be more efficient. Uh, anybody know who this guy is other than me? I have That's a good picture of you. Yeah, I like that shirt. This guy is Jay Abraham. He's uh, coined as a what, billion dollar marketer. Yeah. Mike took me in 2010. Uh, I was just committing to uh, Gerbic full time because a lot of you guys know my story, but I was skeptical about coming on to select homes. Uh, and I, I basically worked for like six months working on mailing stuff, working on listings, uh, different things, seeing how we can maybe operate a call center. And I did that for almost six months before I committed full time. And Gerbic finally came in and shut the door. What's it going to take? And we got this done. And uh, literally 60 days later, we're in Dallas. And I haven't saw this picture until, uh, until this morning. Mike sent it to me. Uh, <clears throat> just so much can happen within three to four years. It, it's amazing. So when I first saw this picture this morning, it made me happy <laughs> because I went through a lot to be able to get to that point where I committed to select homes. And once I commit to something, I'm giving it 110%. There's no half-ass. It's 100 to zero excuses. And what and what we've been through to get to where we're at today, it's just amazing how fast a person can develop in terms of what I had to learn to get to the next stage of my career and then the impact that I've been able to have around other people. So with the Jasons, the Tonys, Maggie's going on six months, you guys, have, you, guys, you, know, are, you guys have some bright careers and you guys can change things overnight. And a lot of you guys have got into real estate and I've been able to sit in a room with you because you're at a bad spot. You're restarting in your life. And that's exactly where I was. I sold all my AFIC accounts, cashed out my stock, didn't know what I was gonna do. 15 months didn't have anything to do. Almost dropped into depression. Idle, you know, idled hands are the devil's work. You guys know I picked up 
and started drinking, and it was it was a it was a bad combination. And be able to refine my purpose at this event was huge for me. <clears throat> and to and to be able to trust Mike enough where I invested in him and he invested in me. And so I just want each of you guys to know that some of you guys are coming on board. Some of you guys are, are, are in your journey of restarting six or seven months ago. But anything is possible with this company. It's up to you. All right? We're a four-quarter team. Let's finish strong, guys. Make it a great day. Hoorah. <laughs>